that worship song right now. All right. Come on, thank you. You're familiar with this song? We're going to sing a little bit different today. Is that all right? Could ask for 
everything around me is shaking. I've never been more glad, cause I put my faith in Jesus. He's never let me, yeah, he's faithful through generations. So why, so why would he fail? So he won't fail, won't fail. Come on, say he won't fail, won't fail. Yeah. So I've still got, I've still got joy in
encourage yourself in the Lord. But sometimes, for some of us, it may be a little bit difficult. It may be a little bit hard to encourage yourself. So this morning, I want us to change the lyrics a little bit. Let's do it like three, four times. But I want you to look at the person next to you. Look at the person next to you and encourage them by saying, He is good and His mercy is forever. Hallelujah. You have to sing it like you know the person is going through anxiety, like they are going through grief, like they are going through job loss. Tell them He is good. Tell them He is good. Encourage your neighbor. Encourage your neighbor. Say, Do you believe that this morning? 
way maker, miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness. That is who you help me sing and say, way maker. Lift your voices, lift your voices. He gave you that ability. Give him your worship this morning. Hey, way maker, miracle worker. Yeah. chapter 1, verse 18 to 20. I'm going to pull out my back up. Hallelujah. See, we serve a promise-keeping God. We're singing that song. We're saying that is who you are. He's a God who speaks and his words do not go void. If he says it, if you believe it, it will come to pass. And in Isaiah chapter 1, verse 18, one of the promises of God to the children of Israel, whom we are the descendants of, says, come now, let us settle the matter, says the Lord. Though your sins are like scarlet, they shall be as white as snow. Though they are red as crimson, they shall be like wool. I'm trying to read here. If you are willing and obedient, you will eat. I'm going to read from here, I'm sorry. You will eat the good things of the land. And verse 20 says, but if you resist and rebel, you will be devoured by the sword, 
for the mouth of the Lord has spoken. Can we go back to 19 one more time, please? Verse 19. Verse 19 says, if you are willing and obedient, you will eat the good things of the land. If you are willing and obedient, you will eat the good things of the land. I'll say that one more time. If you are willing and obedient, you will eat the good things of the land. My brothers and sisters, what my Bible tells me is that I need to partner with God. Is there somebody here this morning that wants to partner with God? That he will set forth a promise and then all you have to do in return is hold his hands, be willing and obedient. If you're willing and obedient this morning, come on, shout a hallelujah. hallelujah. If you want to partner with the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords, shout a big hallelujah. hallelujah. If you know that you know that you know that you serve a promise keeping God, you serve a way maker, you serve a miracle worker, you serve the God and the God that is above all. brothers and sisters from your lips to God's ears I don't want the music to distract you I don't want you to get into all the dancing and all of that stuff I want you to say the words of this song like you truly mean it like you understand that this is a covenant like you understand that this is a prayer like you understand that this is a declaration that you understand that you need your heart your heart to believe who you are and who the God that we serve is so for one second here just your lips to God's ears this morning. Are you ready? On the count of three, are you ready? One, two, three. We're gonna way make, way make, no music. Just your voices. Make this declaration this morning. In my 
this house this morning or you're watching online and right now things are not necessarily looking good for you the definition of good does not match what your life is experiencing I want to tell you this morning that it's not by accident that you are here it's not by accident that you are watching it's not by accident that he woke you up this morning where there is a way there's still a will where there's a will there's still a way where there's life there will always be a way and where there's God the way has already been made and because we serve a living God because we serve a God whose words do not go void from generations to generations to generations to generations he has proven himself over and over time and time again for that reason this morning I just want to ask you to partner with him just partner with him try him and see taste and see that the Lord is good and that goodness that comes from God will be your portion in the name of Jesus whatever it is that you're going through it is not above him it is not beyond him it is not too much it is not too little whatever you think it is I want to ask this morning that you partner with him bring it to him give it to him to him turn it over to him he is able he is more than able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we can ask or imagine that means our minds cannot fathom what he can do so you may sit there and be thinking maybe he, maybe he might be able to get me this far but how would he get me for, past this and I'm telling you that your mind cannot imagine the good that he can do because God is bigger his ways are not our ways his thoughts are not our thoughts he's bigger than our mind could even fathom that means the things he can do you cannot even understand so can we this morning do me a favor and just stop worrying stop worrying about how or when and just hand it over to God partner with God and trust that every path that he will take part for you every part that path that he will take you through is destined specifically to get you to good but you have to believe and be obedient you gotta obey his words you can't just let him do his and you don't do yours it's a partnership so I want you to go back this week and read those verses Isaiah 1 18 actually read the whole thing because I believe that the generation at that time is a replica of the generation this time just a bunch of knuckleheads is what we are just constantly making the same mistakes over and over again and expecting God to forgive us but he's able he's just he's loving but we won't take him for granted right church we won't take him for granted let's go back and read that verse and I want you to meditate upon it and pray upon it and ask God to strengthen you to be able to partner with him and you will start to see the fruit of that in Jesus name Father, we just thank you for your word this morning. Thank you for worship. Thank you for our hearts. Thank you for all that you're doing in this church and in this ministry. Thank you for every man, woman, and child. Thank you, Lord God Almighty, for those watching online and those in person. Father, we just thank you. We bring our praises and our worship as an act of thanksgiving to you for waking us up this morning, for giving us life for putting a joy in our heart that human would, uh, humans would never understand. Father, we thank you that we are able to come to you, that we're able to partner with you. And we pray that this week, Lord God Almighty, you strengthen us and give us all that we need to know, all that we need to walk in faith and in obedience with you. We bless your holy name because you are worthy of all our praise. You are worthy above all. You're the King of Kings. You're the Lord of Lords. We honor you, God. Father, every hair on our heads are not enough to worship and to thank you. We give it anyways. And we honor and we thank you. For in Jesus' mighty and matchless name we have worshiped. Amen. Somebody shout a big hallelujah.